in this game, rain means bad things are uh, coming. Um, also, because uh, the thing is, is, I had to remember to turn like certain things down because will something appear on the TV again? Well, we'll find out, I guess. Um, in other related news, meteorologists are okay, there we go. Oh, spaghettios. I don't that's not a good thing. The region has seen an abnormal amount of fog over the past few years, and the cause of the climate change is unknown. Whatever the reason, residents of the Inaba area should be extra careful. Our broadcast tonight was extended to bring you up to date news on the incident in Inaba. The time is now midnight. Oh no. The image is there again. It seems like if conditions are met, you can see it as many times as you want. A silhouette has appeared. It seems to be a woman. It looks like she's wearing a kimono. Oh. Frick no. Oh no. The image is so out of focus you can't tell who it is. It can no. No, not Yukiko. No, 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 no. What would happen if you touch the image on the Midnight Channel? Let's not figure that out. Would you be able to touch the person on the screen? The image disappeared. You should speak to Yosuke and the others about this tomorrow. You decide to go to the bed for the night. Uh oh. Wait, why are we back here? This is. Welcome. Why are we back? Do not be alarmed. You are fast asleep in the real world. I have summoned you within your dreams. Why? Seems you've been summoned to the velvet room again. Yeah. who have in one way or another entered into a contract may enter so we're in a contract in your daily life you subconsciously heard the call to awaken and you chose to follow the destiny of your inner voice thereby enacting your glorious awakening to your power hold on to this you have obtained the velvet key this night forth, you are our guest in this very room. Your destiny will require you to hone your power. And for that, you will inevitably require our help. Okay, that, I can anticipate that. That makes sense. There is but one price for this assistance. Okay. You must abide by your contract and assume responsibility for all decisions you may make. Uh, I need you to explain that a little bit more. That is fine for now. I was really hoping you'd explain a little bit more of what the frick is going on here, but okay, I guess not. I guess we don't get to know. It is a side of you that shows itself when you face the world around you. Perhaps you can think of it as a facade of determination you wear. To face various difficulties in life. Your persona ability, however, is that of the wild card. Compared to that of others, it is very special. It is like the number zero. Empty, yet holding infinite potential within itself. The persona ability is the power to control one's own heart. And the heart is strengthened through bonds. Oh. You form bonds by becoming involved with others. Your own social links will gradually develop. So is that what the understanding was earlier? Because with, with Chi, right, earlier in the game, I had specifically done an action that gained understanding was it understanding with Chi? And, like, does that gain my social link with Chi? The power of the 
these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. Social links are necessary for more than strengthening your persona. At times, they will help light the way to the truth you're searching for. Where will your awakened power of the wild card take you? I look forward to traveling the road of your destiny together. <laughs> Till we meet again. Again. So again, we earned we earned understanding from Chi. So I'll be interested to see how that actually plays a role or plays effect with in the thoughts, feelings, etc., 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 or if I'm going to actually see the social links that I have with people. I guess we'll find out with Yosuke. I don't think I have much with Yosuke, but we'll see. You saw what was on last night, right? I couldn't tell who it was, but if someone's shown up on TV, we can't ignore it. <sighs> I know it was Yo Yukiko. Maybe Teddy can tell us something. It turns out someone was thrown in again. There really might be a culprit behind all this. Even if it is something about that place that's killing the victims. If someone's using that world as a weapon, that's unforgivable. We need to find the culprit, no matter what it takes. There's no way the police can do it. Who believe that the murderer kills people by throwing them into the TV? Totally. A promise is a promise. I tried sticking my head in the TV last night the way you did, and it actually worked. I think I can do that now because I have the same power. Persona, wasn't it? Could be that we got this gift from someone specifically so we could solve the case. And again, you managed to go inside the TV and get your persona first. I feel like as long as you're with me, I can find the culprit and crack this case. Well, let's do our best. Oh, I don't like the fact that we saw Yukiko there. Even with so much mystery swirling around, Yosuke is trying his hardest to move on. You sense a faint stirring of friendship between you and Yosuke. Oh. 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 What is this? Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou has an established a new bond it brings thee closer to the truth thou shalt be blessed uh okay so we what was the understanding then because like as you feel as you form a bond with yosuke you feel the power in your heart strengthening you recall Igor's words is the power to control one's own heart and the heart is strengthened through bond so then what is the understanding I gained with Chi? What does that help? By becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. Social links is the bond with Yosuke. Is this the bond with Yosuke? What ego would... Okay. You have established a, the Yosuke Hanamura social link of the magician Arcana. Yosuke's determination in battle has been embraced or enhanced. Yosuke can now wake up and a knocked down ally during battle. Your ally may help someone who is knocked down get back on their feet. Okay. Again, I want to know what happened with Chi. What is this understanding aspect that I have no idea about? I guess we'll find out. Oh, hi, Chi. Speaking of, we literally were just talking about you. Chie. Chie, not Chi. We're sorry we worried you. Never mind that. Is Yukiko still not here? I knew it. Yukiko-san? <clears throat> no. At least I haven't seen her today. No. I freaking thought it was her and it is oh man what should i do <sighs> hey is that stuff you 
were talking about for real? You know, all that about how people showing up on the Midnight Channel is related to that other world. Oh, we were just talking about that. We're thinking of checking it out later. The person on TV yesterday? I think it was you, Kiko. That kimono looks like the one she wears at the inn, and she was <sighs> during that interview a few days ago, too. I got worried, so I emailed her last night, but she hasn't responded. She's usually really good at responding. I her earlier in the evening, though, and she said she'd be at school today. I... Calm down. We get the picture. And you still haven't heard from her? Oh, my God. You summed up the information you gained in that other world from for Chi. What's that supposed to mean? Wait, are you saying Yukiko was thrown in there? We don't know yet for sure. We should check to see if she's safe first. Give her another call. No good. Her voicemail picked up. She, she's not answering. Are you serious? And is Yukiko-san inside that place? Stop it! Something must have come up, like an errand or something. Oh, or she might be helping at the end. She wouldn't be able to answer her cell if that's it. Yeah, but would she skip school for that? Well, I'll give the inn a call. Um, I put the number here somewhere. Come on, Yukiko, pick up. and she had to help out. Yeah. Oh, now that I think about it, this has happened before, too. At least once a year. She said she'll be at the inn tomorrow, too. For crying out loud, Yosuke, you got me worried over nothing. She was totally fine. And you were all, Did you go sign inside that place? <sighs> Sorry, but there is a reason we thought that. Oh, yeah? What? Well... We thought people show up on the Midnight Channel because they're already over in that world. I mean, it makes sense, right? People show up on TV because they're inside the TV. But Yukiko-san's still here in our world. We might want to see what this is about. All right, let's meet up at Juness after school. Early morning after school. Okay, so we don't have anything that we have for about answering question-wise. Okay. Okay, I think that's more than enough about my sorry escapades. If I hadn't seen the place firsthand, I'd never have believed a story like that. Yeah, no kidding. Anyways, we need to know what's going on inside. Yeah. Too bad there's so many customers around. I forgot there's a sale in the electronics department today. How? By talking to that Teddy guy? I got it. Come here a sec. Try sticking your hand in and calling him over. I bet that bear's wandering around the entrance anyway. Hey, Chia, stand over here. Make a wall with me. A wall? What's wrong? Shh, not so loud, you idiot! Sense anyone inside there right now? Is anyone like a lonely little bear like always? This land feels so bare. <laughs> Good one, Teddy. Good one. So there's no one inside? You're sure? I'm not lying. My nose is running as good as ever. Hmm. I'm gonna go 
I'll warn Yukiko anyway. Since she'll be busy this weekend helping out at the inn, I doubt she'd go anywhere alone, but still. Yeah. You'll walk with her to school on Monday, right? You better. Sure. I'll go pick her up at her house. Maybe we'll find out more on tonight's Midnight Channel. Cross your fingers that this is all just a misunderstanding. What's your cell number? I'll, I'll call you when I watch it tonight. All right. Okay. Can we exchange it with Chi too? Because I feel like that's unfair to do it with just Yosuke and not Chi or Chi A. I guess we don't get the option. I don't like not getting that option. But we're gonna go see Nanako. Oh. Looks like we found all we're gonna find here. And we've still got nothing that points directly to a suspect. We don't even know if this is a homicide. Well, what else could it be? There's no way a body could end up like that by accident. I know. We haven't found the cause of death for the first victim. A second one just like it. If this is a murder case, <coughs> there's no doubt we're dealing with a single birth. But if that's true, what the hell's going on? Now, I'd have first this all spun out of that love triangle. No, that singer, Misuzu Hiragi, has a solid alibi. She was performing overseas, and her phone records prove it. And remember, the only reason the scandal went public was because Hiragi herself broke it to the media. No one would put themselves under suspicion that way if they had murder on their mind. You got a point there. Same with Taro Namatame, her husband. No matter how much we shake him down, nothing links him to the murder. He's been working in the city for the past six months. Seems he was here recently because of the scandal, but he was swamped with work back home at the time of the incident. There are eyewitnesses and other evidence placing him at his office the night that Mayumi Yamano died. And we can't find anything that shows Yamano making contact with Namatame before or after her disappearance. Okay. You hear Namatame's career has also been killed stone dead? He's been fired from his position as secretary. He's practically as much of a victim as the Yamano girl. Yeah, I agree. And then we have the second case regarding Saki Konishi. She's the one who discovered Yamano's corpse. I don't buy the killer shutting her up as a possible motive. She was killed well after she reported the body, and the culprit didn't hide it. It's like they were meant to be found. The only other connection is that she attended the same school as the daughter of the inn where Yamano was holed up. But that hardly points to a motive. Coincidences like that are common in a town as small as ours. Yeah, yeah. That, that would make sense. Too. What? Is the story about the inn out already? Okay, I got it. How's this? Maybe there was something about the corpse that only Saki Konishi knew. And our perp killed her to keep whatever it was from leaking out. <sighs> Either way, all we can do now is keep investigating anyone involved with the victim. Our perp. There has to be someone in here. Oh, is your detective's intuition at work? <laughs> oh. Another dad's gonna be late kind of day. Welcome back. Thank you, Nautico. Oh, you don't have like an actual scene. Well. You should leave her alone. Okay. Fine. Uh, we don't have. Again, it's like I want more options to do things. Like kitchen's organized. Can't help in the kitchen. Nothing catches our eye as far as food. So we just save and go. I guess. Like I guess that's like the hardest part. It's like I want to. For a game that makes. Yeah. For a game that makes you want to explore there's not much exploring it's odd but i don't mind it it's not like it's bad or anything it's just it's interesting because like i my sister knows like 
I don't explore in video games. I, I'm very linear to the point kind of person. So you would think this is something that I would like, right? And don't get me wrong, I do like it. It's just not what I would expect. Oh, we have another. Good evening. Tonight, Princess Yukiko has a big surprise. I'm going to go score myself a hot stud. Welcome to Not a Dream, Not a Hoax. Princess Yukiko's hunt for her Prince Charming. And I came prepared. I've got my lacy and mentionables on stacked from top to bottom. I'm out to catch a whole harem, and the best of the lot is going to be all mine. Well, here I go. Uh. Hey, did you see that? That was Yukiko-san for sure. It looked like her, uh, I mean, she even said her name. But didn't the stuff she was saying sound weird? And she looked like she was on some low-budget TV show. Was it like this before, too? What's going on? The fact that I'm actually, that's the thing, right? Like, I'm actually, like, with Chie, right? Her, I want to use, in the story, I want to use Chie as, like, that headstrong, let me contact you, let me be by your side kind of gal, right? Because that's how I feel like Chie is, right? The, like, I'll be by your side, let me help you, let me do this, let me do that. Like, that's, she, that's her wants, that's what she is looking for, she doesn't seem to be one of those let me hop into battle kind of people, but she's definitely like good at contacting and being in contact with the others. So I think we need to utilize that to our advantage. Also, we were on school on a Saturday. I just caught that. Okie dokie. Oh, good morning. No, oh, it's not. Where's Dojima? Are you going somewhere? I'll be fine by myself. I don't like leaving you alone, though. So the weather this weekend will be perfect for going out. As for next week's forecast... Oh, the sun's gonna come out. I should do some laundry. Can I help you with that? Uh, weren't you going somewhere? I want to help her out so much, but the game doesn't give me opportunity to. <laughs> ah! Sorry for the hold up. Also, you did not change from last night. That was probably actually supposed to foreshadow what he was going to wear, but. Found some stuff we can use in the closet at home. Take a look at these. Um. <laughs> We've got our personas. <laughs> <laughs> not that reliable. That lady in the back is like, what the fuck? So, which one strikes your fancy? Ugh. This is the I have to make a choice kind of thing. I like the range on the katana. Ah, you've got discerning taste. This is a Juness exclusive. The blade's fake, though. As for me, wait, maybe both would be good, too. Kind of like this? Or like this? What about this? Like how that lady just looked at us like, what the heck? Oh, police guard. Two suspicious young males found, one armed with multiple weapons, requesting immediate backup. Huh? Oh, crap. I mean, no, 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 no. This, this isn't what it looks like. We didn't steal it. I guess that's not what matters. Anyways, we're not doing anything bad. We're just two ordinary kids who like weapons. Oh, God, that doesn't sound right either. Put the weapons down now. We'll listen to your story at the station. Hands where I can see them, too. I but, but... This isn't... Are you resisting an officer of the law? You're under arrest! You 
didn't seem the type to pull a stupid stunt like this. You know what's been going on around town. We got men stationed everywhere. For God's sake. You're lucky I was around. Now this would have ended up on your permanent record. You're sorry. Wait, so the one that disappeared is the Amagi girl? Seems like it. But she's just a high schooler, you know. Could be that she decided to run away from home. <sighs> hey, did he see Amagi? She really is. Hmm? Who's what now? Oh, uh, nothing. I'm sure you've seen on the news, but there's an investigation in progress. We're sensitive about certain things. You're free to go. But this better not happen again. Whoa, pardon me. Huh? Weren't you the kid staying at Dojima-san's place? Oh, uh, can we ask you something? It's about Victor's. I mean, Yukiko Amagi of the Amagi Inn. Did something happen to her? Huh? Oh, um, am I allowed to say? Well, if you're friends with Miss Amagi, keep this between us, okay? We got a call from Miss Amagi's parents yesterday evening saying they couldn't find her anywhere. Since it was the weekend, the workers at the inn were extremely busy and no one saw Miss Amagi around that time. Oh, but that doesn't necessarily mean this is a case just yet. Oh, we knew it too. People have been turning up dead on foggy days, so we're really sensitive to stuff like this. By the way, did she say anything to you guys about maybe going through some hard times? Uh, hard times? Well, that announcer Miss Yamano was staying at the Amagi Inn before the first murder. Seems Miss Yamano had some harsh words for the manager about the staff's attitude towards guests. The stress of it caused the manager to collapse. And with Miss Amagi being the manager's daughter, she must have felt pretty strongly about the incident, you know? By the way, did Miss Amagi ever hint that she might be leaving the house? Because if not, there's been some theories floating around that she's laying low for some reason or another. <laughs> Crap. I think I've gone too far. You didn't hear that, okay? Adachi, what the hell are you chatting with civvies for? And where's my coffee? Sorry, I got it right here. Forget I said anything, please. <laughs> oh, this is not going the way it's supposed to yet. Ugh. Hey, does that detective think that Yukiko san? Well, there was a slight misunderstanding. We'll tell you about it later. Anyway, something's up with Yukiko-san. Huh? You know I kept calling her so, but she didn't pick up. So I went to her house, and it turns out Yukiko really did disappear. I guess we've got no choice but to go now. But that aside, the cops are saying some weird stuff. They think Yukiko-san's hiding to lay low. Apparently Yukiko-san's mom collapsed because that announcer lady bitched her out. <laughs> Yes, let's go. Gives her a motive. And the fact that the announcer died right after makes her even more suspicious. What? They think Yukiko did it? <gasps> what the hell is wrong with them? Dude, don't snap at me. Yukiko's the victim here, damn it, not the suspect. They both seem agitated. Right. That's the important thing. If the police totally on the wrong track, we've got to handle it ourselves. And that's final. I'm going to save Yukiko no matter what. Are you going to be all right? Man, they just confiscated our weapons. We can't go in empty handed. Weapons? Oh, I know just the place. Come on. Oh my god. This is going to go horribly wrong. And I know already. Oh my god. We don't have the end for that. shop is this? Uh, metalworks, I guess? They sell all sorts of metal crap, like katanas and stuff. Doesn't that seem weird to you? Why would you know about a place like this anyway? Oh, I get it. 
You watch one too many kung fu movies and... It's not that at all. I overheard some guys in our class talk about it. They said this place sells weapons and armor. Here, this one looks good. But it might be too heavy. I don't know, Chie. I still think it's too dangerous. I, I know how you feel, but... You don't! You don't know shit about how I feel. You can feel everything you for crying out loud. I'm going, and that's that! Listen, I'm not kidding around. You don't know what it's like in there. If you're not going to listen to our warnings, we're leaving you here. If you insist on coming, just make sure you have something to protect yourself. All right. Man, what should we get? Hey, mind picking out something for me too? You're our main asset in battle right now. So I think you should choose whatever makes it easiest for you. Um. Uh, okay, give just hand me five thousand yen. Why don't you? That's like already more than what I have. You know, if we wear this stuff around town, we'll just get picked up again. But it's not like we can waltz into Juness with a sack full of gear and expect no one to notice either. Why not conceal them under our uniforms? I don't think people would notice. Okay, let's try that. All right, let's split up and get ready. The store will be crowded until the afternoon sale ends. And if we walk around together, the cops might get suspicious. Then I'll see you guys at the Juness food court. Did we not get to choose what we... Oh, there we go. Old man... Diodora. If you come to see my art, please take a look. Take your time. Okay. And then we get an opportunity to go here. We have tw oh, we got 12,000 yen. Where did we get the other three? Okay. I'm not going to question it. Armor. Yosuke. Yeah. I'll give you some. No. What is all? What is my armor looking like? Ooh, that hits me. That hits. That gives me defense, but no. Weapon. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. You can have that. How about that? Yes. We'll equip it. Oh, we have accessories. Ooh, okay. The accessories might do something too, so let's check that out too. Um, we have a wristwatch or a plain ring. Amulet, does it tell me what it does? Nothing, nothing. Headband, nothing, nothing. I'll keep my golf club, honestly. We're good. Oh no. That there's a bizarre, a bizarre door for you. It seems the others can't see the door. So, it finally begins. Oh no. No 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 no. The velvet key in your pocket is shining. No, 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 no. I mean, it was Igor, so it's fine, but no, 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 no. Who? You gotta. What? Why does Igor have another side chick? Excuse me. <laughs> He's literally just packing with the side chicks. Just like, yup, let me just have like 500 side chicks. We're fine. The catastrophe that is headed your way. It has already taken human lives in its approach towards you. 
But you have nothing to fear. You already have the power to fight against it. It seems that the time for you to use your persona has come. Your persona ability is that of the wild card. If you strengthen your bonds properly, their power will help you overcome any ordeal. Our role is to facilitate that. My contribution is to give birth to new personas. By mixing together multiple persona cards, I can transmute them into a new form. This, in other words, is the fusion of personas. You have the power to hold multiple personas and to use them accordingly. When you defeat an enemy, the seeds of possibility you attain will appear before you as cards. At times, they may be hard to grasp, but you must master your fear and reach out to them. When you obtain new cards, please do not hesitate to bring them here. If you have been developing your social links, then your persona will gain even more power. They will be one of your chief sources of strength. You would do well to take this to heart. You recall that you have the magician's social link with Yosuke. It seems that when a persona of the magician arcana is fused, that persona will gain even more power. The tome you see in my hand is the Persona Compendium. Registering the personas you hold will allow you to recall them at any time. Please see me when you wish to use it. Oh, and one more thing. I would like to introduce a new resident of the Velvet Room, who will be helping you on your journey. <laughs> on... <gasps> it's her! Oh my god, I figured that she'd be somebody that was important, but I was like, I... I... Yes! Okay, I'm actually really excited. Okay, that makes me happy. Marie? Yeah, I'd be here. Nice to meet you. Oh my god, I actually like her attitude. <laughs> Not gonna lie. You feel like you met her else somewhere? Yeah. Huh? Oh. Maybe. That'd explain why you're so familiar. Hmm. Excuse her. This is Marie. Her soul is still very young and... Shut up. Don't tell him any more about me than you need to. As you can see, she may be brusque at times, but please understand that she is only an apprentice. And forgive her for her impoliteness. Marie will be dealing with skill cards. Using these cards will allow you to provide your personas with new powers. Also, I am sure she will help you form a bond between yourself and the outside world. Marie will contact you at a later date. Please feel free to speak with her here when you wish to use her services. <laughs> Do you recall my words to you before? The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. I meant precisely what I said. Defeat in battle is not the only way your journey may come to an end. Please do not forget this. When next we meet, you will come here of your own will. <laughs> I look forward to it. Until then, farewell. 